Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. My name is Rudy. This is Forest for the Trees Tarot. I am here today to do an unboxing of Oracle of the Seven Energies by Colette Baron reed illustrated by Jenna Della Grota Taglia. If I said that wrong, I apologize. Uh, that is the her name down there. It's a 49 card deck and guidebook. Um, it says the wisdom of the energy of seven can be seen in cultures all over the world, in belief systems throughout history, and in your own life today. It influences, it, its influence is reflected in the way you think, how you make decisions, what you encounter within yourself, and the conditions of the world. Drawing upon the power of seven, this oracle reveals how we, are, we as individuals experience our lives, giving us a framework from which to make empowered choices as we co-create our reality. With guidance from intuitive master and oracle expert Colette Baron reed you can now awaken to the power of source within you, becoming a channel for divine abundance and miracles. Doesn't that sound like a good, a good thing to do? So let's get a look at this. It's a hard uh, box. And it is Hay House. It's kind of rose petal finish. Very soft. I love the seven, how it kind of shines. It's very pretty. It is magnetic. So we like that. Co-create your most beautiful and meaningful manifestations. We have a guidebook. It is, talks about her books, talks about her decks, the contents, how to work with the cards, goes right into the card meanings. I'm pretty sure they're numbered. How this oracle will serve you. Introduction. Why I work with an oracle. The themes of this deck. You have energy is one, red earth. Energy two is orange water. Energy three is yellow fire. Energy four is green love. Energy five is blue sky. Energy six is purple light. And energy seven is golden white thought. Uh, the chakras. The chakras. Um, how to ask the right questions. How to read the cards. Two card, three card, seven card. Hmm. What's on the seven card? The past, the present. What is hidden, the obstacle, the helpers, the action, and potential outcome. I love them when there's action cards in readings. As the Oracle will serve you. Message from me to you. Oh, I have to read that. And then you get into the cards and their meanings. There's not pictures with it, but you have key concepts um, with, the, with them. So you go all the way through the cards. I think... It was what 45 49 I think is what she said yeah, 49 and then you have the resource guide and you finish up just with the different things you could do so basically we have 130 142 pages of information about the artist Native New Yorker, and about Colette. Alright, so that is that. Then you have the beautiful uh, ribbon. And that's the inside of the box. Put that aside, and we have the, the wrapper. So I can get the wrapper. I always have trouble with these, and I don't know why. Possibly because I don't have any fingernails. Let's just slide some out. There we go. All right. These are the backs. Very pretty. And let me get a tarot. So quite longer or wider and a little bit longer than your tarot. 
cardstock. Not too bad. Not too bad. Matte finish. I love that. I love the matte finish. So we start with Earth Magic. Very nice. Roots of Abundance. I love trees. I love the key. Look at the key. Time Machine. Ooh, I like that one. If you have this deck, let me know if you how you work with it. If you work with it solo, what do you pair it with? If you just pull it like at the end of a tarot reading, if you pull it at the beginning of a tarot reading as like a focus card. Great and full abundance, right? The Ace of Cups. Body and soul. How beautiful. The colors of this. What is, it is what it is. <laughs> I've got a friend that's her favorite saying. It is what it is, whatever it is. Deep breath. Right? We all could use that right now. Into me I see. Wow. The roses kiss. I love ladybugs. Close encounters. In perfect harmony. These aren't gilded. Music. Staying in tune. Bearing fruit. How beautiful. Can you imagine walking through the woods and coming up on a tree that looks like that? Or part of a forest that looks like that with like pink fuchsia grass? Could you imagine? And all the little sparkly lights in the tree. Wouldn't that just be, uh, be like stunning? Feeling the world. Oh my goodness. It's beautiful. That's beautiful. Speaking of beautiful, beautiful uncaging. A powerful move. Hmm, it's like a chess piece. Reminds me of the golden, is it snitch? What is it, snitch? There's a chess piece down there. Almost reminds me of like a, a pope to like a... Uh, Priest, the royal you. The storyteller. The power of purpose. Bullseye. It's around those. I thought it was zodiac, but I think it's numbers. Waking the lion. Wow. That is beautiful. The the I literally have goosebumps. It's just so ma majestic, I guess is the word majestic, yeah. A merry motive. Oh look at the moon up there. Oh it looks like a moon. Exposed and revealed. Mm. Vulnerability. Tender embrace. Healing the heart. Hmm. Let it go. Birds of a feather. <laughs> they flock together, right? Great big love. A grand symphony. 
We have another that other music card in here too. Broken open. So pretty. Uh, awakening genius, genius, genius. <laughs> awakening genius. I don't know what that says. Hmm. Shining through. Call of the Muse. Beautiful. I love that it's borderless. I love that it's numbered. I love that they all have this little bit, but it's not too much. Quieting the mind. The, I mean, the artwork is really front and center. Ears wide open, aww. Little guy's got some big ears. Opening to discovery. A tall tale. It's like Pinocchio. Seeing beyond. That's stunning. Using your third eye. Intuitiveness, psychic powers, the oracle's gift. Endless possibilities. She almost looks like she's a, a space woman, like an astronaut. Hmm. Wish upon a star. Land between. A higher view. Those eyes. Wow. That's beautiful. A higher view. Smoke and mirrors. Spirit of Gratitude. Divine Matrix. Beyond the Ordinary. The Uncharted Sea. Oh, my card's bent. Oh no, my card's bent. It wasn't cut out right. Uh-oh. I've got a corner rounder. I can go around it. Sacred Reverence. That's beautiful. That is a stunning card. A, the, a burst of magic. Just a spark is all it takes. Willing release. Hmm. See how they shuffle. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Good, good, good. Pull one out and we will read out of the book and see how the book reads. Alright. What does the collective need to know in this video? What will benefit the collective the most? A Grand Symphony. That's a good one. 27. And they, they are numbered. 
and it's about a page and a half um, on each card. So it says key concepts in inclusive inclusivity, being part of the whole, remaining bias, seeing the inter interconnectedness of all, knowing that everything you do has a consequence, unity, consciousness, the end of division. As human beings, we have a tendency to see ourselves as separate from others. This perception is the root of the cosmic joke played on us all. Although our five senses and in intellect can help us manage our experiences in the material world, and, intu and intuition helps us navigate the invisible, we, we still struggle with the issue of identity and how we fit into the whole. You're facing a paradox today. You need to focus on being your unique self, for only you can bring your own special harmony to the symphony of the world. But equally, you need to learn to be selfless and put we before me, seeing yourself as part of the consciousness that unifies us all. You're being invited to step back and see the bigger picture until your individual part of the world stage disappears and blends with the glory of all life. It's true that who you are and what you do counts in far-reaching ways. Consider this, though. When you listen to music, it's the whole, not any single note on its own, that makes the song come alive. So today, ask yourself, can you be part of something bigger? Can you put the principles and needs of the groups above your own wants? Can you fully embrace the concept of unity in diversity by celebrating all the notes in the symphony? If so, then you will need, then you will indeed be wise and whatever you are dreaming about will be fulfilled with your wildest hopes, beyond your wildest hopes. It's time to do your part to sing in harmony with others, stay in tune and learn the new harmonies and notes. Such sweetness will rise. How beautiful. The hummingbird. Beautiful, beautiful. Again, let me know if you have this deck. Let me know if you work with this deck. Let me know how you work with this deck. And that funny one was still first, even though I shuffled. Let me know uh, what you pair it with. Let me know if you have a favorite card. Um, I don't know yet. I love the different colors. I love the different everything on it. I love the matte finish. Definitely it's not glossy. As you can see, it's wonderful. Leave it on that one. All right, guys. I thank you for watching. I thank you for uh, your support and your trust. I thank you for being here. <laughs> that is the Oracle of the Seven Energies. And it is by, oh, look at this, by Colette Baron reed Remember in the beginning when we talked about um, the, the colors? Oh, where was it? Uh, hang on. Okay, so the energy one, energy two, orange, red. So here you have green. So this would be... Energy four with love, compassion, love, community, forgiveness, unconditional acceptance, inner peace, and wholeness. So that would be that. And then you have, I guess, I'm not quite sure what that color is. There's your purple. But there's your colors there. Uh, I guess it's golden. Maybe golden white. Mm, maybe it's yellow. Anyway, those, their colors are up there in the corners, as you can see. There's yellow. This must be the golden one. Anyway, things to figure out. Things to figure out. This is probably one of my favorites. That's beautiful. Okay. All right, guys. So, thank you all for being here. Thank you for watching. Again, let me know if you have this deck, if you work with this deck, how you work with this deck, what do you pair it with. Um, what other decks do you have of hers? I have quite a bit, so maybe I'll have to do a Colette Baron Reed deck haul one day.
If you'd like to see that, let me know because I've got I've got several. Thank you all for watching. Thank you all for being here. Stay safe. Be blessed. Until our next deck unboxing. Bye for now.